Let's take a look at the system requirements you'll need for your computer to run After Effects CS5 efficiently. Now my computer is a couple of years old and it's still doing pretty good. But of course the latest and greatest is where you're going to get your best bang for your buck. Now one of the features in After Effects is something called a RAM preview. And this is the button right here in the preview panel. Now the more RAM you have, the better RAM preview you're going to get. So of course you want to have as much RAM as possible if this is what you're going to be doing for a living. So for the Windows platform, let's go ahead and start with you guys. You're going to need an Intel Pentium 4 or AMD Athlon 64 processor. Intel Core 2 Duo or AMD Phenom 2 recommended. 64-bit support is required. Now if you have a 64-bit operating system on the Windows platform, you should have Microsoft Windows Vista Home Premium, Business, Ultimate, or Enterprise with Service Pack 1 or Windows 7. Now they recommend 2 gigabytes of RAM, but of course more is better. 3 gigabytes of RAM is going to be available as far as your hard disk space, plus 2 gigabytes for optional content if you want to add that stuff from the CD. So when you install, you can add more content. If you don't have the room, don't bother with it because of course you can make your own content. Now you're going to need a, a 1280 by 1024 display with OpenGL 2.0 compatible graphics card. This only comes in a DVD, so you're going to need that unless you download it from uh, Adobe. You're going to need the QuickTime 7.6.2 software as far as QuickTime features. And if you're going to use any online services, you need a broadband internet connection. Now as far as the Mac, the Macintosh platform, you'll need a multi-core Intel processor with 64-bit support, Mac OS 10 version 10.5.7 or version 10.6, 2 gigabytes of RAM. You're going to need 4 gigs of available hard drive space plus 2 gigs for that additional content I mentioned earlier. So once again, there's all kinds of things that you don't have to install, but if you want the additional content, if you have the space for it, feel free to install it. You'll need a 1280 by 900 display with OpenGL 2.0 compatible graphics card, a DVD-ROM drive, and of course QuickTime 7.6.2 software required for any QuickTime features. If you too plan to use any internet stuff, you're going to need a broadband connection. So that's pretty much what you're going to need to run After Effects, but like I said, my computer's a little older and I'm doing great, so if you're going to be doing lots of special effects and smoke and rain and all kinds of stuff, then of course a newer system is going to give you better results more quickly.